Many years ago, in Central Europe, thousands of people were driven from their homes and out of their motherland, simply because their customs and beliefs did not accord with those of the state. In the grim forests, it was not unusual to be attacked by wolves, and for a wife to die in childbirth was commonplace. What makes this story unique is that this particular child, instead of being torn to pieces by the wolf pack that killed his father, was accepted by them, warmed by the females, even protected by the males. Why this should have been, we can only hazard a guess. Perhaps it was the time, midnight on the eve of Christmas, when traditionally, the wild beast is said to guard the cradle of a newborn child. This story was handed down from generation to generation, told and retold until it became legend. Well, it is fresh. 
No! Ah, oh, pity. We could have done with some of them to feed these mongrels. Anyhow, this looks as good a place as any to set up shop for the night. Yeah, go and see what you can find for our supper. Oh, wake up! You lazy bitch! There's work to be done! All right, all right, you old goat. I'm coming. What is it? Oh! Ah, oh, never mind him. Get a fire going. Tiny's gonna find something for your pot. Ah, oh, come on, lightning. Here's your supper. What you got there, then? Something nice? <laughs> what is it? I don't know. But it behaves like an animal. It's a boy. Oh, can't you see that? It's a boy. Poor thing. <laughs> Thing's right. <laughs> he looks like a boy, but he behaves like an animal. Why, that's it. He's a boy and an animal. He's a wolf boy, that's what he is. <laughs> Uh, let's see. But he's hurt. You shot him, you great old... What are you doing? Ah! Do that ah! for! Ah! Ah! Clean him up a bit. Not too much, mind. He's going to be the making of us, whatever he is. He's going to be our star attraction. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Walk up, walk right up and see the most amazing show on earth. Maestro from Pony presents his amazing exhibition of the incredible and wonderful dogs with human intelligence. Incredible feats of strength. Plus added attraction, Wolf Boy. Is he wolf or human? And now, my friends, I'm about to reveal something that will be imprinted on your memories for the rest of time. I am proud, indeed, honored and privileged to reveal not just a tattooed lady, not just a lady that's tattooed all over, all over her mind from head to foot. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Princess Tamara, the direct descendant of the royal family of Russia itself. Oh, God. Princess, will you do us the honor of showing us the tattoos that cover your entire body? <laughs> the artistic designs that the princess has so graciously shown us, ladies and gentlemen, represent the flags of all nations. Every inch of the princess's body is covered in a like manner. Every inch. You can take my word for that. <laughs> However, you will not expect a lady of her breeding to expose herself further in public. So, princess, I thank you. <laughs> Now, oh, my friends, the very moment you've all been waiting for. You're among the first privileged persons to see the one thing that no one else has ever seen before. 
Is he a man or animal? It'll be for you to judge. For the first time ever, the only one in captivity, Etwal, the wolf boy. Liven him up a bit. He's a bit shy. As the maestro predicted, the wolf boy became their star attraction. <laughs> Mingy bloody lot. <laughs> now then, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is that world. The only living wolf boy in the world. The little group prospered, and now, for the first time, the boy had friends. Human friends. But as he grew up, he developed into a normal, healthy young man, and his value to the little show was lost. The maestro would have thrown him out, but for the intervention of his wife, who'd come to like the strange young man. He will meet a pretty girl, and he will love her until death. Charming. Nice. Did you hear that, Etoile? <laughs> yeah. You will meet a pretty girl. <laughs> At while are you listening to me? Uh, they wouldn't have it. Cash or nothing. I've forgotten my place is dumped before. What are we going to do now? Well, you can cook that for a start. I'll think of something in the morning. What is it? Hey? Wolves. They'll have a go at lightning if they get close enough to have a sniff at him. Tiny! 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 Wolves! See if you can kill one of them and it'll frighten the others off. Get going! Oh. Close that door. Look. It's freezing in here. Back yet? What's the matter with you then? A nightmare or something? 
Come on, come and help me find him. Come on! Tiny. Hey, if you've never seen a dead and you've seen one now, come, give me a hand. Hmm? Come, quick, give me a hand. Him. Aware of his terrible legacy, the boy fled. He traveled for days, sheltering under trees, feeding from the land, until he found himself on the outskirts of a great city. with the animals, didn't you? Looking for a job? Give us a hand here if you like. Of course, I can't pay you much. There's a place back there you can sleep. Save you paying for lodgings. It pongs a bit in the hot weather because the sewer runs underneath. But the monkeys, they don't seem to mind, eh? <laughs> What'd you say? Dunno. Well, if you don't, nobody does. All right, then. Start right away. Clean up a bit. I'll give you a hand. A bit later. Hey. Come on, come on. You haven't finished yet, lad. Oh, here they come, the little darlings. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, ladies. Three Morning. today. Fifteen sous. Thirty to anyone else. Uh, yeah, just off for a quick... Off on business, ladies. If there's anything in particular you may care to see, my new assistant here will be pleased to show you. Hello. 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 Can I show you the animals? No, thank you. We've seen them. Yes, every day. You come here every day? To lunch. Like some? Yes, thanks. <laughs> Good. You fancy another? Mmm. Oh, you haven't got much. I'll go and get my own. Funny boy. <laughs> like some? No, thanks. Good. I'm sure. No, it's the garlic. Don't you like it? Oh, we do. The customers that don't. Oh, oh you work in a shop? <laughs> I suppose you could say that. <laughs> it's more of a house, really. Oh, you work in a house? What sort of Never house? Never mind. What's your name? Etoile. Etoile? Well, that's what they call me. Etoile. I rather like it. What's yours? Christine. Christine. That's nice. This is Zoe, and that's Annabelle. Hmm. Come on, 
and girls. Time we were going. Yes, we'd better. She'll be waking soon and in a right mood. She always is. She? Who's this she? Well, it's... Uh, it was nice meeting you, Etoile. Shall I see you again tomorrow? Yes, I expect so. Good. I look forward to that. Ta-ta, then. <laughs> What about him, then? <laughs> oh, it's so hot out there. I don't know why you go to that smelly old zoo. Why? To see the wild animals, of course. I think you see enough of them in here. Oh. They've got a nice new keeper there, a young one. Oh, where's he from? Oh, he's a country boy. You can have them. Christine thought he was rather nice. Nice, yes. But uh, they need watching once they get going. <laughs> you ought to be careful, Christine. <laughs> Hello, what's this, baby clothes? Anne Marie, what have you been hiding from us? <laughs> from my sister, you fool. <laughs> I should sincerely hope not. We've enough troubles here as it is. <laughs> and do please show some consideration. I'm not at all well today. Oh, another hangover, madame. I do wish you wouldn't be so <laughs> blunt, Zoe. No, not another hangover. The same one. <laughs> you may remember the prefect of police was here last night. And the minister. Ugh. Ugh. Some of the men that come here nowadays, their manners are disgusting. Must think they're still at home. I shouldn't think so, madame. <laughs> Christine, I'm in no mood for your warped sense of humor. Go and open me a fresh bottle of champagne, there's a dear. Do you think you ought? No, I don't think I ought. If I don't, I think I shall die. And then where would you be? Don't answer. Just get the champagne. And Anna Marie, will you draw the curtain on that window, please? The sun. It's a lovely day out, madame. Mm. No doubt. Not very cold. Never mind. Just open it. And gently don't... <laughs> Sorry. Never mind. Perhaps it'll clean the carpet. Just pour it. And we'll all have a little glass. Ooh. Only one, mind. I don't want you misbehaving yourselves. And we'll clean up this mess. And you'll have to get ready for tonight. Tonight. All over again. If this woman had committed suicide, these burns wouldn't stop just here, a few inches into the esophagus. They continue right down into the abdomen. No, no, Max. Sorry. There's another murder for you to investigate. But what about the uh, poison bottle? The burns around the mouth. All there to put you off the scent? Yes, I'm afraid so. How did she die then? Dramatically. And I mean that literally. Whoever did it knew his Shakespeare. Have a look in the left ear. You'll see some tiny blisters. as poison poured into it. Hamlet. Hamlet? His father was dispatched in a similar fashion. 
salt to leave no trace. That was done while she was asleep? Mm-hmm. The poison would have been heated first to blood temperature. She wouldn't have known anything about it until it was too late. Ingenious. Her son told me... Wait a moment, Paul. Her son is an actor of sorts. He should be familiar with the bard. Is he also a fisherman of sorts? Do you have to know? I don't know why it was done, but you, you see how the wrists have been tied with something very strong and thin. A fishing gut, perhaps? Or a musician, a violinist. A violin stream is just as good. He plays the cello. Well, it's the same thing, only bigger. <laughs> Look, I'm not suggesting you should actually start oiling the guillotine, but I think you could do worse than start your inquiries with him. Thanks, Paul. Always glad to help. Meantime, my good friend. Here we are. Too good for you to do for my dinner. <laughs> Here they come again, the little darlings. Wait a moment, Marquis. Patience, my friend. Oh. Morning, Hello. ladies. Morning. Three again today. Fifteen sous, thirty to anyone else. You say that every time. Yeah, it's about time. You let us in for nothing. Oh, yeah, sure. All right, if you'll do the same for me, eh? Oh, baby. <laughs> Coming, Marquis. <laughs> Got something for you. Made it myself. It looks it. What? Cheese. It's all right? Yeah. Good. You haven't got a coat. Yeah. Coat? It's going to rain soon. No. It will. I know. You'll get wet. How do you know? Just do. They know too. Look. I can't see them doing anything. I can. Where did you learn all this about animals? Don't remember. Oh, sir. So. Oh. There, I told you. Come on. You'll be drying here. What, are you mad? They won't hurt you. Oh, they may not hurt you. Oh, 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 oh. Good, and the professor. Excellent. The minister, this is Inspector Gerard, one of my ablest investigators. And Professor Cataflanc, a judicial surgeon. Good evening. He attempts to ascertain the cause of death in some of our more problematic cases. Well, Gerard, anything interesting to show our visitors? The professor has just finished a post-mortem on the Macardier woman, Monsieur le Prefect. Macardier? Uh, he has the suspected suicide by poisoning, sir. Ah, yes, yes, of course. And? Uh, the professor thinks it was murder. Oh? It was murder. How can you be so sure of that? We cannot go jumping to conclusions, you know, gentlemen. Not when there is human life at stake. Would you like me to show you? Oh, I've please. had to cut the body open. Oh, thank you. You see, if she had committed suicide, this uh, tube here, the gullet... Oh. Uh, do you have to leave? Thank you, Professor. Very informative. Now, that wasn't kind of. <laughs> I know, but I enjoyed it. They're pompous asses. Now I have to wash my hands again. Here, yeah, son! Uh, end of the month. Share our day. <laughs> here we are, six francs in here. Two for you and four for me. There. Four sous short. What? Four sous short. Hmm? Oh. Oh, is it? Oh. Oh. Must have miscounted. Oh. <laughs> 
what you could do with it, eh? Don't know. If I was your age, I'd have taken out a young lady. You know, dancing, bit of cheek to cheek, eh? Ho, 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 baby, ho, 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 ho. Yes, I'll take Christine dancing. Christine? You know what she does? Yes, she told me. And you don't mind? Why should I mind? She's a servant, same as me. That's what she told you? Yes, she does housework. Housework. <laughs> housework. Well, good luck, that's all I can say. Housework, baby. <laughs> housework. <laughs> Boy, what we do here? No, why should I? Well, I should, if I were you. He's a country boy, and they're the prudish ones. They save up their sous to come here and throw up their hands in horror if their wives or sweethearts so much as show an ankle in public. Well, I'm not saying he's like that, but you shouldn't let him find out for his Places, job. girls. Zoe, Christine, wake up, Annabelle. Ah, my dear prefect, back so soon, how nice. I'll make my own way back. Yeah. Well? <laughs> Have you brought a message or what? I want to see Christine. You what? Uh, Christine. I've come to take a dancing. I'm afraid you've made a mistake, young man. Badly hurt, Monsieur. Yeah. And you? No, Madame. I shall hand you over to the police and prefer the most serious charges. Madame, not the police. It would be most imprudent. If that is your wish, Monsieur. It is, Madame. I can only express my deepest regret about what has happened. I hope it won't deter you from returning another time when there'll be no charge, of course. That's right. Well, the gentleman has paid. Now you get out. Out! Out! At twelve. At twelve. What right have you to burst in like that? What 
right of you to interfere in my private life. Hmm? Making a fool of me, breaking up the place. Do you think you owe me or something? I've never been so humiliated in all my... Never! Well? Why do you do it? Why? Because... Because... What's it got to do with you anyway? Why, Christine? I'll tell you why. My mother died and left me an orphan, a bloody orphan, someone nobody wanted. So I was sent to an orphanage, and you know what that's like. I stuck it as long as I could, and then I ran away here to Paris. That's when I started, on the back streets. Then I met Zoe, and she took me to Madame. Bought off the police, looked after me. Better than my own mother, better than anyone ever did. If I was to ask you to marry me... Uh, marry you? Yes. Oh, but what have you got? You've got nothing. I love you, Christine. Look at twelve. I'm very flattered. Don't think I'm not. But marry you? It wouldn't work, now would it? Satisfaction tonight, Monsieur. Thank you, Madame. Until next Friday, then. Good night, Monsieur. Good night, Madame. I thought I'd finished for tonight. Oh, sorry to interrupt, Professor. We've got another one here. Perhaps you'd rather finish your supper first. It's a bit, um... No, no, no. No point in wasting time. Oh, dear. That's very nasty. Where did this happen? At the zoo? Picked it up in the street, sir. Hmm? Well, then you'd better warn them to start looking for an escaped animal. There's a claw mark. Hmm. Au revoir, monsieur. Safe home. Au oh, revoir, madame. Sizes that penetrated the flesh. You see how they fit exactly where the jugular was torn out? Now, it's much too wide for a dog. Would certainly seem like it, Professor. Paul? Mm hmm. What's all this about an escaped animal? It's a wolf. A wolf? Mm. Big one, too. Have a look over there. This is 19th century, Paul, not Middle Ages. There are no wolves in Paris except in the zoo. Well, perhaps this one didn't see the signposts. What are you getting at? Well, that man was killed by a wolf. Well, the prefect says it was the work of a maniac, a homicidal maniac. It's possible, of course, but I don't think so. Anyway, he's having all the asylums checked. I beg your pardon, Inspector. Yes? There's another two just arrived. Two? Just like this one, sir. The prefect's lunatic has been busy, Max. From the same area? Yes, sir. This case is beginning to interest me. Yes, well, don't get too interested, Paul. Remember what happened last time? I'd better get down there. And I'll sleep again tonight. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. No. Yes. 
Very interesting. Very interesting. Just a minute. Just a minute. You can't go through that. What do you mean I can't go through? I work here. I'm the head keeper. All right. I think so, too. This is going to be great for business, isn't it, eh? Huh? Yeah. Been out all night, have you? Oh, I know, I was young once. So you missed all the fun, eh? There were three murders here last night. Two of them right outside our gates. The police has closed the place. We can't let no one in. Why? Why, God knows! But you should have been here, son. It was horrible. the police department. What, you? Mm -hmm. Police? In a, uh, an advisory capacity. I'm, uh, particularly interested in your wolves. Why? Why then particularly? Last night's murders. They were executed in the most savage manner, almost as if the victims had been attacked by a wild animal. Wolves. <laughs> wolves. <laughs> you thought, you thought they, them two, you get... Here, lad, here, come a little to this one. This gentleman, he thought them murders was done by these. <laughs> May I share the joke? I tell you, Governor, these two is so old, their fangs is so rotten, they'd have difficulty in chewing through a meatball, let alone a... Then this caption is untrue, they're not dangerous. Dangerous? Mm. Show him, lad. Show him how dangerous they are. I would be obliged. <laughs> Tell the truth. There isn't one animal here as is dangerous. They're all too old. Them notice it is just for the customers. All right, son. Got a fetching way with the animals, honey, eh? It's a rare gift. I hope it serves you well. Thank you for your help. Uh, now that you've satisfied yourself that my little family is blameless, can I open up again? I'll have a word with the inspector. Thank you, Professor Catter. Flonk. Good day. Flonk. I'm so sorry, mademoiselle. I'm afraid the zoo is closed. Hmm? The zoo. Closed. Oh, that's all right. I have a friend who works here. Oh, I see. Then no, pardon me. Hello. I've just heard about the murders. Are you all right? Yes. You don't look it. I've had a fever. Can I get you anything? No. You sure? You look as if... Leave me alone! All right, if that's what you want, I'll go.
been upsetting him, have you? Shouldn't keep him out all night. Not good for him. those three murders the other night. Did you notice a certain consistency about the state of the bodies? Such as? All three were quite remarkably clean, just as if they'd taken a bath before going out. Yes, well, uh, you know, some people will do just that. Not many, in my experience. Now, I reckon it's not merely coincidence that all three were in the same condition. What sort of clothes were they wearing? Paul, mm -hmm. you are not to interfere. What, me? Interfere, my dear fellow. I heard you were snooping around that little zoo. Ah, yes, but now that's different. I had to convince myself that it wasn't a wolf. Keep out, Paul. Please. <coughs> They're suits. I've got them here, Professor. Oh, have you? Good man. Let's have a look. Handmade boots. Work machine. Excellent material. Yeah. I was in the district the other day where the bodies were found. Poor neighborhood. No one living there could afford this sort of luxury. Oh, wouldn't you say? Coincidence? No, I just told the inspector. I don't think so. August the 4th. 5th. There's another one here, Professor. Nine thirty. Two men, consecutive times. Yeah, no. Ah, oh, so you're back. Ah, good morning. Lovely day, isn't it? Police can afford piano now, can they? Uh, would you care to join me? And one for my friend, please. And how's business at the zoo? What business? You closed me down, remember? Has the order not been rescinded? Who? You can take it from me. You're free to reopen. Drown it. Thank you, Governor. Here's your help. And yours. Still on this case, then? Uh, yes. Yes, I, I am. In fact, you, you, you might be able to help me. Could you tell me if there's a, um... How shall I put it? A, a house of entertainment anywhere near? Yeah. Of course, is you? Not open in the daytime. B is it far? It's not very... Fair. <laughs> How convenient. Oh, good morning. We don't open during the day. So I was told, nevertheless. May I come in? Well, I... Thank you so much, my dear. Do you... Uh, do you have an appointment? Uh, not yet. I'll, uh... Fetch Madame. Thank you.
Yes. What do you want? Christine. Good morning. This is a most unusual time to call, monsieur. I uh, appreciate that, madame, but then uh, well, I, I'm an unusual man. We do not cater for um, unusual tastes, monsieur. Hmm? Oh, dear, it's a slight misunderstanding. Uh, please allow me to explain. I, I am a judicial surgeon attached to the prefecture, the police, my card. Police? Mm -hmm. Three murders of a particularly brutal nature were committed in this area recently. You are aware of that, madame, no doubt. Well? It occurred to me that the victims might possibly have been visitors here. I have their names. My clients never use their real names here, monsieur. You understand? Ah, of course. Then would it be asking too much for you to identify them? But they're dead. But still recognizable. You mean you want me to come... To the city morgue, yes, will you? I most certainly will not. I've never heard of such a thing. It really would be most helpful, madame. Helpful? It's grotesque, indecent. I could ask the prefect to make it official. The prefect? He won't do anything, I can assure you. Oh, you know him then? I think that's my business, monsieur. Now, you must be a very busy man. Annabelle, show this gentleman out. Couldn't she fix you up then? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, I'm afraid you couldn't. I can't think why not. You look all right to me, as you see some of them. Oh, well, as the saying goes, it takes all sorts to make a world. Good day. for 15 minutes. You ready? I'm uncovering the lens. Now! Monsieur Daguerre? Excuse me. Monsieur Daguerre? Yes, quite, please. I'm Monsieur Daguerre's assistant. You wish to make an appointment? Yes. Hmm. For a portrait, of course. For several people. Yes, I think I can fit you in. Uh, quite still, quite still. Won't be long. Um, can they come tomorrow at two? Unfortunately, no. Oh, five o'clock. Uh, no, 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 the light's failing at I'm five. I'm afraid they won't be able to come here at all. Oh, you wish me to visit their place of residence? Precisely. Hmm. Yes, well, it's very inconvenient. I mean, it's all this apparatus, and I'm not strong. Where, where is their residence? It's not far away. The city morgue. Morgue? They're dead. Quite still. You want me to photograph? Yes. Yes, please. I'll expect you tomorrow. Thank you. Good day. Well, well, <laughs> quite still. Uh, Rudolph! The uh, wolf cases, are the bodies still here? Yes, sir. Uh, but they'll have to be moved soon. It's this hot weather, sir. Oh, well, hang on to them for a little while longer. Back some ice around them. But there have been complaints already, sir. Oh, well, close the doors and open the windows. There's a good chap. Whenever you're ready, monsieur. Yes. Boulon? Uh, left a bit. No, my left. Yes. I'm just focusing the lens. It's a technical expression. You do understand? Oh, yes. You ready? If you could steal yourself, it's a grim task, I know, but of the utmost importance. Yes. Ready? Quite still. Oh, no. Oh, my God. You'll let me have the likenesses today, won't you? Yes. Answer the door, Tanya! 
And hurry up with the champagne, Christine. Right away, madame. Oh, it's you again. I've been making some inquiries about you. You're not a policeman at all, and you've no right to be asking me questions. Oh, I never made any claim to being a policeman. I'm a police surgeon. Um, may I ask who told you? You may not. I see. Nevertheless, I'm sure you wouldn't wish to obstruct the course of justice. And to that end, I've brought along some pictures which I should like you to study. Um, I'm afraid they're rather shocking. I'm not easily shocked, monsieur. No, I'm sure you're not, madame. These are the victims of the murderer. Have you ever seen any of them before? No, monsieur, I've never, never seen them. You knew these men, didn't you, madame? No right to question my girls. Oh, no. No, that is very true. I apologize for disturbing you. He knows the way. Christine. It is Christine, isn't it? What do you want? Could we talk for a moment? What about? Come and sit down. Would you like a brandy? Yes, I would. Brandy! It's about these daguerreotypes. You recognized the men, didn't you? They were clients of yours? Yes. They all came to see me the night they were murdered. Well, doesn't it strike you as rather odd that all three should have called on you that particular night? They were regulars. Well, I must admit, I'm, I'm completely baffled. I thought at first the attacks might have been made by some wild animal. A wolf, perhaps? A wolf? Hmm? Oh, yes, yes. What about the police? What do they think? They believe it was the work of a lunatic, someone with a grudge against your clients. They could be right, of course. Do you know of any such person? No. Nobody. Now, Max, I have some more information here. Throws quite a new light on the case. The case is closed, Paul. Pardon? Yes, the prefects come around to where you're thinking. He thinks you're right. It was a wolf. And so he's ordered all wolves in the city zoos to be destroyed. I won't do it! I won't bloody well do it! Just look at that! Just read that! Well, you I can't. Oh, I've got your card, can you? She's not going to get rid of them by order of the prefect of police. Get rid of them? Yeah, them! Them wolves! As they constitute a danger! What do they mean, get rid of them? It means you bloody well gotta kill them, that's what! Otherwise they'll come and do it for us! Me? Oh, I have to be you, lad. I mean, if I so much as squash a blue bottle, I have to lie down after. I have to be you. Feel a bit rough, do you, lad? I'm not surprised. I don't feel too good myself. A couple of mangy old things I know, but they've been helping to keep me these last ten years. How? How will I do it? Bash him, son. Bash him. On the head. I ain't got no gun. Tell you what, I'll, I'll put a little something in their supper, make them sleepy, and it won't be so bad. What do you say, all right, eh? It's a good fight. Good fight. Thank you. 
Well. They made me do it. Help me, Christine.
same. Mm -hmm. All with their throats torn out. If he didn't die from a shark, he would have died anyway. It must be an animal. A wild animal loose in Paris that nobody ever sees. Oh, well, now give us time. Oh, come, you don't seriously think that if a wolf had been seen loping along the boulevard, you wouldn't have heard about it by now? Now, you listen to me. Since you are so clever, now you tell me who did this, eh? Now you explain. I wish I could, Max. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have spoken like that. You're exhausted, dear fellow. Yes. I must be getting old. Professor. Hmm? Professor. This one's still alive. Just. We'd best get him to the hospital. Professor. We must get him to the hospital. He never reached it. I must do what I can for him here. I need your assistance. Yes, sir. Help me. Who was attacked? Who by? Attacked. Was it a wolf? Not a wolf. A man? Not man. Can I get you anything else before I go, sir? Uh, no, uh, Boulogne. The last murders, when were they? Do you remember? About four weeks ago, sir. Yes, it was four. I remember. Four weeks. A month. A month. Yes, sir. You notice the moon tonight? Yes, sir. It's a full moon, sir. The same as it was last time. Before he died, that man said he was attacked not by a wolf, not by a man. Does that suggest anything to you? Yes, sir. It does. Utterly fantastic, of course. Not to me, sir. I'm a countryman from the Massif Central district. These things don't seem fantastic to us, sir. I wish I had a book on the subject. I'll see what I can do for you, sir. Thank you. Paul, you're a doctor, a man of science. But you think science knows all the answers? Well, I don't. But a man that turns into an animal, how can you believe that? A tadpole turns into a frog? We all believe that because we know it happens. We've seen it. It's one of nature's miracles. Now, is it that strange if at a certain time a man turns into an animal? And just because of the moon? But why not? The moon controls the oceans. It drives some men insane, and tribes all over the world still worship it. We know these things, but surely there are some we haven't experienced yet. But if these things occur only at full moon, they won't happen again for three or four weeks. Max, the full moon cycle started again last night. So it can all happen again tonight? Unless we find him today, yes. But where do I look, Paul? Our one witness died. Where do I start? In bed, getting some sleep. No, I mean it, or you'll be fit for nothing. What about you? Ah, well, um, if you'll permit me. Oh, let the police handle it. Uh, this is just an idea, and it's much better for me to uh, follow it up on my own than try and explain. Um, 
Have I your permission? Have I any choice? Not really. Take care, my friend. Kind enough to ask Mademoiselle Christine. Uh, Christine, uh, I must speak to you urgently uh, and alone. Would you meet me at the cafe just as quickly as you can? Uh, you are done. You better put some clothes on first. Hmm, put some clothes on. That makes a change in this place. <laughs> <laughs> and he just disappeared into thin air. There are plenty of places he could have hidden. But where, for instance? I shouldn't be speaking to you about him. You're wrong, Christine. He asked me to help him. And you are, believe me, if the police find him first or a mob. What can I do? I want you to go to his quarters at the zoo and wait. You'll stay there, won't you? Bula! Bula. A map showing the sewers in this vicinity. Could you lay your hands on such a thing? I think that's where he is, sir. It's possible. You there, boy? Huh? Strange. Strange. I thought we really liked it here. I thought we really liked it. Map of the sewer, sir. Oh, good, good man. Well done. Thank you. Why, yes. Yes, you see? At every murder point, an exit from the sewers. Now, that's where he is, Bulon. It must be. It explains why he's never been seen. Professor, mm -hmm. don't you think we should inform the inspector? And what would he do? Fill the sewers with police. Hound the thing to destruction, probably. And then what will we learn? Nothing. It's all in here. The precautions to be taken, the risks to be run. Sir, if you are going alone. Then you will follow what the book says carefully, sir. And you know we must have a silver bullet, don't you, sir? I have some silver candlesticks at home. not be handled. Good luck, sir.
come back? No. I think I know where he is. Where? Where is he then? Where's the boy? There should be a manhole somewhere here leading to the sewers. Not used anymore. But where is it? What? Under here somewhere. Hmm? You can't do that. He's rusted in. It was a hand. <laughs> What do you expect to find down there, then? Hey! Don't force me to use it. If you come out and show yourself, I won't shoot if you have my word. If you give yourself up, I'll try to help you. Otherwise, the police will track you down. They'll find you wherever you hide and destroy you. Your friends were destroyed. You'll suffer the same fate. Christine knows I'm here. She's waiting for you. I'm alone, I swear. If you like, I'll throw my gun away. I know I can trust you, but well. not his enemy. He won't harm you. But you mustn't reject him.
had to do it, Paul. Belong told me. I'm sorry. You did your duty, Max. You only did your duty.